Hey guys, what's up? Coach Smith here, PO1 Sports, and today we're going to talk about speed and strength training. The success of your team will depend directly on the type of culture that your speed and strength training program creates. Developing an environment that stresses hard work, leadership, and commitment are essential in motivating athletes to prepare themselves for the rigors of training on a daily basis. Your job is to prepare the athlete to perform at a higher level than the previous year and keep them healthy while reinforcing team concepts. In reality, speed and strength training fundamentally go hand in hand. Yes, you can get faster without strength training, but will underachieve in reaching your full athletic potential. Increased strength levels will have a direct effect on your specific football speed training program. A comprehensive performance enhancement plan will ensure the long-term success of your athletes. These, the following, are some primary principles that every athlete and coach should follow to ensure a positive outcome in the weight room and on the field. First, we have leadership development. Leadership development is critical in establishing a winning culture. The most successful programs view the importance of leadership growth along the same lines as all other important concepts of the team. Strength and conditioning training are ideal times to develop leadership skills and build camaraderie amongst the team. Effective leadership development will do the following. First, increase self-confidence. Promote sportsmanship. Promote teamwork. Teach self-respect and respect for others and also create a sense of accountability and responsibility. Most young athletes have varying amounts of leadership potential, but have never been placed in position to lead. If we don't teach them how to become leaders, we can't expect them to take on the responsibilities to lead. Creating opportunities within your speed and strength training program will allow them to take ownership of the program on and off the field. Communication. Speed and strength training is a people-oriented business. It's not so much about designing the perfect program, but effectively communicating the plan of action. Effective communicators can engage, motivate athletes to accomplish the impossible. They can inspire workout sessions to new heights and touch people emotionally to give them more effort during training. Communication development is a daily practice that takes time to improve. Try to consistently provide feedback to your athletes in all phases of training. Next, competition. Creating a competitive atmosphere is essential in developing dominating athletes. This will teach your athletes how to physically, mentally, and most importantly, emotionally prepare themselves to compete and assist in the development of an aggressive attitude. Competition forces discipline and attention to detail. The goal is not so much for the athlete to compete with each other, but against themselves and to beat their last performance. They must use each other to push themselves to the edge. We also have mental preparation. Train with intensity and focused intention. Simply stated, you not only want to train hard, but work within the intent to improve each and every time you hit the weight room or practice field. Through the strength and conditioning program, you can assist in developing a mental attitude that will allow your kids to stand out. Reinforce to your athletes that training is an opportunity that can't be wasted by not being mentally and physically prepared. When you train and train with deliberate intent to excel, it will transfer to big plays on the field. Learning how to mentally prepare for workouts and games will build confidence and get athletes to believe in the impossible. Your training partner. Training partners are crucial because they are essentially an extension of the coach. A great training partner can give constant feedback if technique breaks down and provide cues when the coach isn't watching. In a perfect setting, the partner would do all the coaching while you simply monitor the progression. They have a direct correlation to the focus, tempo, and energy of other athletes and create a higher sense of competition. Emphasizing training partners to coach and motivate are great ways to develop leadership and communication skills. Especially in team settings, it is the responsibility of the coach to set the tone each day. Everything begins and ends with the focus of the leader. If you, the coach or trainer, don't come to work with a sense of urgency and purpose, how can you expect your athletes to be focused? The success and failure of your speed and strength training program starts with you. Hey, thanks guys. This is Coach Smith, PO1 Sports. Talk to you next time.